an alert about a recall involving Kia Sorento SUVs. The recall involves a fire risk here. Kia issued a recall back in September, including a warning not to park these vehicles in a garage. One Clear Lake family never got the notice. And you can probably guess what happened. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard shows us how they figured out the connection between their fire and the recall. The fire at Chad and Elizabeth Nelson's house brought out eight fire trucks from three departments, including Clear Lakes, where Chad is a lieutenant. They were out for a date night on December 30th, and their twin boys were home alone when they heard a strange sound in the garage. A neighbor walked across the street to help. So he popped the door open and smoke started bellowing in. The Nelsons rushed home, and Chad says he felt helpless, especially knowing fellow firefighters had searched the burning home for potential victims. Fire investigators dug in and figured out the fire started near the back of their 2017 Kia Sorento. I guess looking at the security pictures that we had and, you know, the timeline that, that was set by the security camera, you can, you know, you could actually see that that, you know, is pretty much the location that that the flame started. At that point, the Nelsons started their own investigation. They realized the Sorento was one of about 71,000 Kias recalled in late September because of faulty wiring in the trailer hitch posing a fire risk. Kia doesn't have a fix for it yet, and the Nelsons say they never got a recall notice. I work at a repair shop. I would have had them take that trailer hitch off. This is, for lack of a better word, a dumb problem that could have ended so differently. The Nelsons are grateful the neighbor got their boys and dog to safety before the flames spread from the garage to the attached home. Nobody suffered any injuries, but they're all struggling to sleep since the fire. They're alert to every noise, and sleeping in strange places is taking a toll. It's the little things now that are that are starting to get to us, I think, more than anything. Um, now that we're, you know, I don't want to say past the point of, you know, everyone's okay, and that was the important thing. It's still the important thing, but we're at a point now, I think, where we have to start thinking about all of the other things. So now the Nelsons just wait and see if their insurance company will pay to completely rebuild their house and if Kia will pay to cover any additional expenses. In Clear Lake, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9.